G'day guys, Greg here. Now it's product review time and today I'm going to be reviewing these products right here. It's called Gods of Sauces and they are some really hot Asian style sauces and they're made in Western Australia. Now there's three flavours, Poseidon's Kiss which is a miso mole hot sauce. Its ingredients are super hot chilies, brown sugar, vinegar, garlic, ginger, miso spices, lime juice, etc. And it says here it's a Japanese miso fusion Mexican mole hot sauce with depths of real flavour and heat. Great on everything. Well, we'll give it a go, see what it's like. This one here is the Little God Rye. The Little God Rye is made of garlic, fermented chilies, brown sugar, vinegar, ginger, soy sauce, pineapple. It's a spicy sweet and sour ketchup sauce with depths of flavour and a mild heat. Great with chips, Asian food and chicken. You had me at chips. And the next one... The Demonic, an Asian hot sauce, is made also of garlic, chilies, brown sugar, vinegar, ginger, kaffir lime, blueberries, soy sauce, limes, corn flour. It says it's a bloody hot sauce with Asian style flavours, goes well with Asian dishes, chicken, beef and fish. Now these are award winning sauces and predominantly Asian, one with a Mexican twist and well most of them say you can have it on anything, one says chicken but Today I'm going to test them and try them all with a piece of steak. So I'll give them all a good shake and I'll start off with this one because it's the most mild. Oh! Alright, well that came out a lot faster than I was expecting. But uh, it's got a nice little colour there. Mmm, smells good. It's got a real Asian scent about it, that's for sure. A slight sweetness to it definitely does have that Asian style about it and I can imagine this on chips and Asian food it'd be really great it's not too hot it just tastes really nice and it has got that sourness about it as well like it says right well let's try the next one the Poseidon's kiss well, that one's a lot darker and this one's supposed to be pretty hot We'll see how hot it is. <coughs> oh wow, that is hot! <coughs> Mate, that one is super hot. It's almost got a flavour of like a chocolate or something. It's got a real rich depth about it that has got that sort of miso-y flavour. It's not too strong, but I'll tell you what, the heat on that will tear you a new one. All right, well, let's try the next one. The Demonic. Well, <laughs> I hope this isn't hotter than that last one because <laughs> that was so hot. Oh, this one's a little bit runnier and it doesn't seem as thick. So let's hope <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> I'm still sweating from my last one though. Mmm. Yeah, that's got a really nice flavour. It doesn't seem as hot, but it's got this nice sweetness about it. It says it goes well with Asian style dishes and no doubt it would. And with that beef, it really did taste good. Might be good to just have a little bit on the side if that's what you plan to do. But it's really nice all three flavors are very asian tasting would suit all asian dishes but boy i'll tell you what these two are super hot and will make you breathe through your mouth for a while that's for sure but in saying that you can still get the flavors and taste the flavors of them <laughs> although it will impair your speech because your tongue will start swelling up and you won't be able to talk properly <laughs> well that's what i'm finding well, there you go. Gods of Sources sources from Western Australia. Mate, these two are super hot. And this one's got a nice sweetness and mildness about it, which I think, well, would suit most people. But if you're really into Asian spices and Asian flavors and Asian sauces, and you love some heat, then maybe you should uh, consider giving Gods of Sources a try. 
If you do buy some, you're helping a small business as well. Anyway, that's all today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for my next source review. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the reviews are finger licking. Oh yeah. <coughs> Mate. That is really super hot.